Hey everyone, what's going on? It's Monday night. I'm excited to be here. I have a very interesting story to tell you tonight. Uh, a discussion with my fiance today leads to tonight's live. Which you're probably going, what? What? <laughs> I know, right? So, so we were talking about my son who is 17 and is really into like editing and videos and gaming and you know all the stuff that a lot of kids are involved in right now um so in that conversation led to um, him saying things that i think a lot of us say every day especially being an entrepreneur that you know what we're not sure what our purpose is like what so the conversation started as you know he he's a landscaper works for another company for a company so not his own company and you know wants wants to build a business but doesn't know what he wants to build and he said you know, I don't know what I want to do. And I said, okay. Um, so, first of all, <clears throat> that automatically got me into, you know, what it's not necessarily what you want to do. It's who you want to be. Like, who do you want to be when you grow up? <laughs> Because some of us still don't know, right? We Some of us still don't know what we want to do or who we want to be. But I think a lot of us don't even think about it like that. We don't think about the question, my cat, Jesse, is, you know, he's going to join in tonight too. So we don't think about it as who do we want to be we think about it as what do we want to do? Like, what do we want to do in our business? What kind of business do we want to have? And if we think about it, hey, Amy, how are you? Long time no see. <laughs> I'm so glad you're here. So we think about, you know, our purpose in life as what do we want to do? But I mean, I would love to, <laughs> I would love to invite you to think about life and business as who do you want to be because we're gonna change our beings inside of us how we look at the world how we look at everything changes every single day and then somebody comes along and throws a question at you that says that totally flips your mind because I think that's what I did to him tonight. <laughs> I said, well, you know, just that. I said, don't think about what you want to do. Who do you want to be? Like, what is your purpose for waking up in the morning? Like this has nothing to do with business. This is a personal thing. And this is actually an exercise that I go through in uh, branding boot camp because your brand story should include this too. So who do you want to be? Okay, so purpose, right? Trying to get myself back on track. Uh, why do you wake up in the morning? What drives you to keep going, to keep living? Is it because we think we're supposed to just, and obviously we want to keep living, right? But is that why we get up in the morning? I think a lot of us think that it is. And I, I would love to invite you to even think deeper than that. Because there is, everyone has that purpose for living. And usually, 99.9% .9 of the time, that purpose you have for living is the purpose that you have for bringing an impact to the world, either through your business or through some kind of, you know, like volunteer work or charity or 
just being you every day. You're like you're bringing something to the world every day, whether you think you are or not. You are. So the exercise that I take my clients through is if you were Tom Hanks on the desert island with Wilson, <laughs> what would make you get up and keep going every day? What is that thing that drives you from your core? And it's, this is an, an not an easy question. When I first heard this question posed a different way, but when I first got this, um, you know, somebody introduced this to me, I was like, I have no idea. And usually most of you might even say that I have no idea. But dig deep and think about that. Think about what drives you. People say all the time, I don't understand what my purpose in life is. What is my purpose? What do I want to do in my business? What, like all of these things. And you're thinking out here in the atmosphere of those, you know, I don't know, just little things like happening out here that this is where we usually live is out here in this. But here is where I want you to live today when you watch this video or Amy right now, <laughs> I want you to live right here. And I want you to think about really, what is that fire? What's the fire that gets you going? So we ran, Tom and I ran through the scenario of him owning his own landscaping company. And, you know, I said to him, what is it about landscaping that really moves you. Hey, Lara, uh, what moves you in, in landscaping? Like what, why do you love what you do? And, you know, at first it was, he would get a little uncomfortable and he was like, um, I don't, I don't, I'm not really sure. And because we've been together for like 10 years, I know, I know what it is, but some other people it's it's really hard to figure out so i know that it's because he loves to make people feel good he loves to make people happy and you know in cutting somebody's lawn you know some people might not think that you're doing anything but cutting a lawn when you're landscaping but that's not true just like whatever you're doing in your business it has a ripple effect it has this ripple effect that continues on and on and on and on and on and you're never even going to see 99% of the ripples of the effect that you had by doing whatever it is you're doing like what is that so in Tom's case he goes and cuts a lawn so what happens the homeowner mm, Jesse's not having a very good time on that pillow is he <laughs> Jesse, what are you doing? Okay, so anyways, <laughs> it's cracking me up. All right, what happens when he cuts a lawn? He has a happy customer, right? A happy homeowner. And that homeowner, <laughs> it'd be funny, right? <laughs> so he has a happy homeowner, a happy customer. And now that happy homeowner is happy because his lawn is nice and beautiful. He feels or they feel excited to go home and see their beautiful lawn. They feel more comfortable in their house because their lawn looks nice. They treat their family better because they're happy that their lawn looks nice. And then their family goes out and treats other people nice because their house is like how they feel in their home is nice. And the ripple effect just keeps happening and happening and happening. Who's with me? Like, do you, does that make sense to you? 
because it, it took me a little while to understand what the ripple effect was, what my purpose was. And that's very close to my purpose. Like I, my purpose is um, an impact on the world that helps people understand that anything is possible to empower them to believe in themselves. That's what drives me. That's what gets me up in the morning. The belief, so if it had nothing to do with anybody else and I said, okay, this is only about me, what gets me up in the morning? Possibility. Possibility gets me up in the morning. What's gonna happen today? What can I do today to make somebody else feel empowered? What can I do today to make somebody else believe in themselves? What can I do today to make myself believe in myself today? What can I do? What are all the possibilities of all the things that I could do today to make my life better than it was yesterday? Like, it was an epiphany for me when I came across that, that, I don't even know what to call it, mind-blowing realization that that was my fire. My fire was the fact that there are a million possibilities and what can I do today to create more possibilities? Possibilities are endless. 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 And it's just amazing that I can get up every day and I can empower business owners and entrepreneurs just like you to believe in themselves, to believe that those possibilities are out there and that they can create a bazillion different possibilities that they can create anything that they want, that they can have the life that they want, the money they want, the success they want. Every single thing in life that they want, they can have it. You can have it. And believe it or not, this whole conversation came from a 20 minute talk on the porch with my fiance which is awesome in itself that we can have these discussions and connect like that. Uh, that's another one of my, you know, beliefs and loves is connecting with people and connecting other people with people that need them. I love that because why? Because it creates more possibility. See, See how it all just kind of goes back to that? <clears throat> it's just amazing. So I would love to know what your purpose is. If you did any of this, it's not really an exercise. Well, it is an exercise, I guess, right? So if you did any of this exercise and thought about you being on uh, a deserted island with the volleyball, Wilson, you're Tom Hanks. What makes you get up every day? Like in the movie for Tom Hanks, it was thinking that he was going to get back to his girlfriend, right? Which is amazing. But on a superficial top of really what's going on, he, there was a deeper burning fire in him that made him get up every day. We're never going to know what it was, but you can know what yours is. You can know what yours is. So this burning deep desire purpose that you have is something that you are good at. Yes, he manifested that. <laughs> so it's something that you're good at that is innately inside of you that you have had your entire life. And probably, like me for a while, kind of dismissed it because 
we thought we were supposed to take a certain path in life because that's what we were taught we had to do. We go to school, we go to college, we go get a job, and we work every day, we come home, we do it again, and we're ingrained to think that that is the only kind of life that we can live because that's what our parents did because that's what our grandparents did and their parents did. But you know what, when you go back to like the twenties or even like early 1900s, right? Probably even before that, most people were entrepreneurs. Think about that. Like when immigrants came over from like Italy or Ireland or wherever they came from, some of them got jobs, right, working for somebody else, but most of them opened their own stores. The butcher, the shoemaker, the candlestick maker, <laughs> the whatever, the, the, you know, laundry guy, the, like, when you walk down a city street, the old neighborhood owned stores. And everybody knew each other and everybody went to those places and those stores and bought things from each other. That's how they knew how to make money. They came here to make a better life for themselves. You're already here. And you're ready to go make a new life, a better life for yourself. So let's go do that. Because you can. We want to make sure that we have the funds to survive, right? Which is why a lot of us have jobs. We work for somebody else for a certain part of the day. That money pays our bills, but we have this passion. We have this purpose that we need to get out to the world, which is our business, right? Our ancestors did it opposite. They came here and said, I am going to fulfill my purpose and my dream, and I'm going to give to the world what my gift is, whether it was cutting meat, selling meat from the butcher shop. What did that butcher do? He didn't just stand there all day and just make meat or cut meat or sell meat, right? He fed a family. And then that family was able to survive by eating the food that they got from the butcher, happy family. Now that family can continue to provide for their family by doing whatever they're doing. See, everything you do is just a ripple effect. So the best thing that you can do is create that ripple effect from your purpose and go be who you want to be now. Did that make sense? That last sentence. Sometimes I overthink things, <laughs> but I'm going to explain it a little anyways. I know we've been, we're growing on 20 minutes here. It's exciting. All right. So be who you want to be. So what is the success that you want? What what does your business look like at its ultimate point? Yay, Amy, I'm glad it makes sense. So what does your business look like at the point where you're like, yes, I made it. This is it, which really it's never it. But you're like, I am much further than I was a year ago, six months ago, three months ago. doesn't even matter. In the future. Close your eyes, 
think about the vision that you want for your brand, for your business, and then feel how it feels to have that already. And then think about who you are being when you already have it. Are you being that person now? And if you're not, why? And what can you do now to get closer to the person you're being when you have everything you want? That's powerful shit right there. If you do the work and do that exercise, it's really, really powerful. It might bring up some feelings, you know, like maybe not so great feelings, but it don't put it in that box. Make it feel good for you. Because you're not being the person that that, you know, that the successful you is right now is okay. Now you know who that successful person is being, or maybe I shouldn't be putting the word successful in there, but when you have the business that you want and you're doing all of the things that you want to do and your business is doing the things you want it to do, who that person, if you're not being that person right now, that's okay. And you know why? Because you don't, you didn't know who that person was until you just saw it in your head. Boom. I wish I had a mic right next to me. Mic drop. <laughs> so I hope that this video helped and gave you some insight and got you thinking because that is really the purpose. I want to get you thinking in a way that you're not thinking right now because that person thinks differently than you do right now. And you'll find them and you will be them and the closer you can be to being them now, the closer you are to having the business that you want and the life that you want now. So, ramble done. That wasn't really a ramble. That was really powerful stuff right there. So, that part of the video is done. What else do I want to tell you? The, ex the uh, Attraction Accelerator Challenge starts on the 24th of this month. Five-day challenge to nail down your ideal client. It, it's going to be epic. It, it's just not even just nailing down your ideal client. It is total brand impact challenge. Like you will not be being the same person after five days that you're being right now. Completely epic. We have guest speakers prizes, contests. If you're not in, you better get your tush in there because you don't want to miss it. There is, I'll drop a link here. Uh, there's also links in other posts. If you see them, there's some ads floating around there if you see it. So please join the challenge because it's going to be amazing for you. Okay. I'm so excited that we have this talk. I'm like all jazzed up now. I don't know what I'm going to do, but I'm going to go like create some crazy content or something now. <laughs> all right. If you have questions, leave them below. If you have comments, please leave them below because I love comments too. And I will see you on Thursday. All right. Good night.